So in funding, you know, obviously, as Skip has, has said, um, this is a major endeavor and um, local health departments are not in a position to uh, to take on a, a uh, inspection and regulatory function um, of this magnitude without additional funding. Um, and also the state agency um, would need to have uh, funding for coordination and um, extra FTEs and for uh, a database, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, and then um, homeowners, we don't want to set up a situation where homeowners now are suddenly not compliant with the state law, but without any uh, additional resources to address the problem, because um, I'm sure you know that uh, replacing a failed septic system is not a not an inexpensive proposition, and it's it's not just people who fit you know our typical federal poverty thresholds or percentages that would be affected by this. This would be uh, this could affect uh, people of of um, varying incomes. Under evaluations, I just wanted to um, point out, and as, has, as Skip has mentioned, a reporting database um, and the fact that many of these septic systems are not on anyone's records because they were installed before records began to be uh, kept in a systematic manner. So the process of digitizing these records, of making sure that, um, uh, so digitizing records of known septic systems, but then also finding the ones that are not and assigning, you know, geographic coordinates so that those could eventually be um, digitized is another uh, very large endeavor and I think would be a, an appropriate starting point for this uh, initiative. Um, the evaluations section also talks about definitions, definitions of failures, um, and who can declare a failure. Um, because of workforce restrictions within environmental health uh, departments of local health departments, there would need to be additional uh, certifier, not certifiers, but evaluators um, who can um, look at these, these systems because local public health is just not staffed in that way. Um, and so evaluations section also talks about the certifications of evaluators and how those can be assigned and, and how and in what circumstances could they potentially um, be revoked if necessary. 